Hello, welcome to episode 8 of The Journey. Uh, we're following Shannon Lawson as usual. We'll be playing against the Pelicans this game. This is uh, one of the last games we have on our schedule in the rookie in our rookie season. We only get to play 8 games, so this is one of the... This is kind of like in the middle. It's about the 3rd or 4th game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this was a game where I struggled like hell. As, you, as usual during this rookie season, it was quite tough, but I made a few plays here and there, like an assist here, and uh, this is really just trying to get better, honestly, because this is like really, really tough. I, I just, I can't seem to find a rhythm yet, the team and everything like that. I don't get many minutes, but, you know, I got to take the, the chances I get, and I got to make them, I got to make something happen, but it's just, it's tough. Um, this year, they really made the rookie season something that... It's tough. Like, I've never struggled this much in a 2K game before, so it's it's a challenge, but it's nice. It's uh, it makes it more rewarding when when I actually will become a good player. So here I am. You see, like trying to make some moves here. Still just driving in. You see that that was a nice play. Like there's there's flashes here and there of of uh, Shannon eventually becoming a great great player, and I like I get more much more excited, much more uh, uh, delighted over the fact that I'm actually I actually do well. Nowadays, and here we lost 98 to 97. I missed that free throw, and that was pretty much it. But here's a quick cutscene. I kind of flash, I kind of uh, I'm going by it pretty quickly because you know it's a cutscene, yeah. So those can be quite boring sometimes, especially with this kind of cheesy sort of storyline. But here, game, the another game with the Rockets. I think this is game four against the Rockets. Um, here, I actually did, I did fairly well. I uh, had 10 points and 4 rebounds by this point in the game, so I did I did well. I, I, I thought this is my best game so far in the season, so it was it was quite nice. Here's a nice play, a nice team play, and here I am again, uh, you, like abusing that, that pick and roll system as usual. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, this is almost pretty much the game's over. We were losing by 12, uh, and yeah. These are pretty much my stats throughout the entire game, and it was just sort of a quick uh, game, like nothing. Or, uh, I didn't really do numbers that you know could blow, could blow anybody out of the waters. So obviously, I tried my best against against James Harden, but that was kind of the finale of it. I did fairly well, and here's me and James Harden exchanging a friendly handshake. But Freak is kind of a bust right now for the first season. You see, we lose, we lost right there. It's, he's kind of a bust, to be honest. Um, definitely not living up to the hype. But, you know, here's another cutscene with Dom, this this kind of weaselly agent that we have. Um, I don't trust this guy whatsoever at all. But I have, to, I have to deal with him in order to... Oh, there's my Jordan shoe. I don't know, that's kind of weird. How, or is it Nike? I'm not sure. Uh, it's kind of weird how I have my own shoe already. It just seems kind of premature, especially because I'm not a starter. That was an awkward uh, uh, exchange right there, but whatever. Especially because I'm not a starter. It just seems a bit weird that I would get this already at this point, but whatever. I'm not here to complain, you know. It's, it's all good. As long as I get my own signature shoe, that's all, really, that's all I give a shit about, to be honest. So it doesn't really matter. It's all good. Next game, I think I'm playing the Knicks. That'll be fun. Yes, I'm playing the Knicks right now. There I am. But first game back in New York. So I wish that I had come back under better circumstances, but whatever. There's my first assist of the game. And here's Aaron Afalo trying to get that uh, point. Every time I look at Aaron Afalo, I just think about the Ke the Kendrick Lamar song, Black Boy Fly. That's what I always think about when I see Aaron Afalo, but whatever. I got the bucket there. I just, uh, here I am trying to body him pretty much, and here I am. Oh, look at that. You see, there's flashes, there's flashes, definitely, Shannon's definitely slowly but surely gonna get used to this whole NBA life, and here I am driving it once again, oh, I get, I get to draw the foul, and here I am trying to make the free throw, and yes, I make the first one, and will I make the second one, that'll, that's yet to be seen, but, you know, uh, hopefully I will make it, let's see, will I, will this go in, and, no, of course not. And there's the end of the, end of the game right there. Um, so there'll be a, a cutscene following this now. And uh, yeah, it'll, this episode will end with that. Hopefully I could do better uh, 
in the next games coming up and uh, hopefully I could show better performances and better gameplay but I kind of thought that this was important to show that the fact that you know there's a struggle to it and I don't just get good right away so uh, and enjoy this uh, this cutscene and uh, I'll, I'll continue this series in the, into the next episode and have a nice day. The streets ain't always right, nah 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 nah. It's always good in the hood. Uh, let's not forget, I am a student of human nature. Alright, take your man here. He's playing his hair video game is to not address the reason why his brand Jordan sneakers are sitting on store shelves collecting dust. Ooh. Ouch. Okay, what are your suggestions, Victor? He wants you to rob a bodega. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not talking about some focus group, all right? I'm talking about the hood. They don't trust you no more. They see you coming to the arenas wearing them tight pants your ballers be wearing. Your high water ankles be showing. Your pants is just so tight, man. It, your ankles be choking. <laughs> Air it out some. People don't see themselves in you anymore. Look at me. People don't recognize themselves in who you are. Okay, you want to recalibrate? Fine, B. Go ahead. But recalibrate back to Harlem. Remind these fools where you from. Represent. You know what I'm saying? Like, where's that Jesus piece you used to rock? Not that, that shuttle's work. With them fake chains we used to wear. Yo, but that's my point. So let me get you some nice jewels, huh? Make it flossy. Get you a new whip. Something that the hood will love. Let's remind these fools that you the Harlem Renaissance up in this piece. Hey, get a club, I don't know, something. Just throw your weight around, man. I mean, at least get me some, too. Yeah, and get some nice for that, too. Nah, but for real, no, seriously. You think it's that bad? Yo. Cats be laughing at your corny commercials, B. Come on. But that's what I'm saying. Yo, we could change all that. Hey, now, I know CC's your manager and all, but everywhere she leads, you can't always follow. Now, I'm not trying to catch no charge, but CC got people out here laughing at you, fam. Now, just let me take care of everything. You're the CEO, I'm the CFO, Chief Lawson Officer. You hit me with that bread, and I got you. CC. How y'all doing? Uh, CC. Freak, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what up? In private? CC, go ahead. Okay, well, I thought we were supposed to be having a private meeting today to discuss business. CC, what you think we're doing? Am I talking to you? <laughs> you know what? Y'all ain't talking business. Y'all talking nonsense. We were actually discussing the questionable nature of the promotional strategy that you and Dom have employed on Freak's behalf. Now, it doesn't necessarily resonate with his core fan base, primarily due to the fact that it negates the legitimacy of his personal background and history in favor of reaching a larger, primarily more disinterested demographic that would prefer to judge Freak's past as opposed to appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, what Yvette said, four times 25, 100. Oh, so now you know your times tables. Yvette, occasionally proving that you're articulate doesn't mean you have business acumen. Beyond, of course, your clear mastery of basic arithmetic, we all know you can add up how much Freak makes. Okay, Cece, that's enough. <laughs> no, no, you know what, Cece? You're absolutely Anywho, right. Freak, and the speaking of basic arithmetic, how much of Freak's money do you take? Okay, I mean, what, did I I what? what did I just say about Team Freak? A manager? What did I just say about no. Team Freak? The only members of Good. Team Freak in here are me and you. Oh, you know what, Cece? This isn't the womb, okay? It's not just you and Freak. Speaking of, how's that going for you? Hey, come on. Oh, snap! You gonna let hey. her talk to me Yo. like that, really? Yes, you can check on me. Yo, check her. Yeah. Yo, I'm out. You know what? I think I'm I'll out. join oh, you. No, 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 no. darlings, please. Please, have a seat. I would just love to hear what you all were just discussing. Better yet, let me guess. Hmm. Hey, yo, I'm saying, dude, what you need to do is hit up these parties. Yeah, you need to show these fools how you still have mad love for the hood. Get you some flossy jewels. Make sure every time they see you whistling the new whip. Better yet, let's get us a dealership or a club or something. Never mind that house you promised your twin sister you promised you get for your parents who are still in the projects where you left them. Yo, that's not fair. I ain't leaving my ass. Hey, and, and you know I'll never leave my parents a project. Thing, fam. I'll take care of everything. All you got to do is break me off with that bread. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow. 
No, it's CC. I don't know what's going on with you tonight, but I think it's best you go home. We will continue our meeting here. You asking me to leave? Yes. Hey, right, yo, freak. It's all good, man. As a matter of fact, CC. Now, I know you don't like me. You never have. Now, I don't know what I ever did to you. But at this point, does it really matter anymore? Look, I just want you to know that I'm really sorry. But whatever it was, I can honestly say it was not intentional. All right? Hey, freak. Think about what I said earlier, man. I ain't trying to catch no charge. Bet, you ready? Yes, bro. No, I love you more than life itself. Then how come you always put them before me? I don't put anyone above you, not even myself. You sure about that, Cece? What would you just call all this? I mean, you come in here blowing up my spot and you assault my brother? He's not our brother. You disrespect my woman. <laughs> I was trying to protect you. From who? From the likes of you? But you don't think I realize that I have vultures and blood-sucking leeches in my life? Don't think I realize that you're one of them? Blood-sucking? Yeah, but you know what? That's what I think the problem is. It's because you realize you know better than them and you're ashamed. But in fact, you're worse because we share the same blood. And just because they don't have the same blood running through their veins as us, doesn't mean that they don't love me. Yeah, their love might be flawed, but it's true. What you need to understand is I don't need you to protect me anymore. I don't mind the people closest to me leeching off me. Yes, you do leech off me, and I leech off you too. You love business and you love me. I use that. Vic? Uh, Vic? You know you don't mind running these streets. He's my connection to things I don't want to deal with anymore, so I let him do him. I take care of him, and in return, he looks out for me in places you know you can. And as much as you don't want to hear this, Yvette, she is the eye of the storm in my life right now. She is my only calm. She's my peace shelter I use these people and they use me I just don't call it that CC I don't call what you do using me I call what you do caring for me forgive yourself and forgive them for using the resources at their disposal to get what they need and what you need to learn to do is just trust me okay I've always had a good judge of character even before I was born Remember? Because I chose to come in this world with you. That's right. It was me and you in the womb just kicking it. Right? Right? I was born first. <laughs> yeah, you were. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Swish. <laughs> 